What are we about to do? I'm about to build the ramp for my bike. Are you going to ramp a dump truck? That's what I heard. Let's get started. That one? Right there? Terrified. terrified. She's up there holding like claws were like going into the metal. Anyways, we uh we forgot to well we started recording on time lapse because we didn't think it would go so quick and it went really quick. So I'll kind of walk you through real quick. All we did was tack it. So basically the bottom corner, top corners on the hole on every sheet. So there's four screws on each sheet. Don't ever step on a sheet that's not attached because it's going to be like a surfboard and you're going to slide right off the roof. No, probably not There's as fun. No water usually underneath. That depends. What if you put a pool under it? So, stuff like that you don't want to do. We have these uh, sheets, the clear plastic putting in there so that basically there's daylight there's light in there for the animals because they're going to be pretty much cooped up in here all winter so from late december probably maybe january but all the way from then or if the weather turns bad before then anytime there's freezing rain they'll be in here if there's lambs especially and then they'll be in here until april when the grass comes back on and then they go back out to the pastures and it'll make it to where this isn't a mud pit like you saw in the last year's or last winter's videos that's why all this stuff just hasn't, it's all weeds. It's just junk. Very little of it. I mean, there's a little bit of clover that actually survived, but most of it's just junk now. Well, before my battery rudely died, what I was trying to say is we have these uh, plastic panels spaced out and they'll let light in. So, because the animal, obviously I don't want to run lights if I don't have to, you know, obviously electricity. But if it doesn't let enough light in, so like the days that it's really cloudy and gloomy, it still may have to run lights. But there also are going to be lights in here. We're going to set them up on the uh, the very top of the roof, basically, and they're going to point um, to like the ones that are on this side of the roof are going to be pointing to that side, and the ones on that side are going to be pointing to this side. So it gets cross light. They're floodlights. They're 5,500 lumens each. And I think that what we're gonna do, I think, I think we're gonna put, so basically every four trusses, was it four? I think it was four. I'd have to look at my plan again. But every four trusses, there'll be one. So one, two, three. So between three and four, there would be one. Between seven and eight. And then between uh, 11 and 12 which so it'd be right here by the door and then i'll probably have one that just points into the uh, manure storage area because if i do need light over there it would be convenient to have but i don't want to waste the light over there either just because animals aren't ever going to live in that area but it'd be nice to be able to push all the uh, feces down there and still be able to see but I'm going to take a break and eat lunch real quick. Chris is putting the last couple of screws in. So on the ends, went all the way down on each purling, put a screw. Just because if the wind does kick up, we don't want it to pull any of them up. It's not likely, but it is a possibility. So just a precaution and then uh, you can see where we put the skylights in well we just caught that we didn't get enough so they gave us all the the clear sky panels but what they didn't do was the piece underneath of it we cut from the long panels well they didn't give us enough panels to do that so they're going to send out uh the 14 foot panels we need well we really only need 11 foot 7 but they're going to send us some 14 footers that we can put on there and we'll cut them to the length they need to be to fit right here. 
and then we'll put the skylights in. So what we did was we went with the long panels, didn't cut any of them. We just went with them. And the ones where a skylight will be or a sky panel will be are, so usually like this end would be below the previous panel. So I'll show you, it'll be easier. So the way this works is every time you go, right? So you take your next panel, it sets over top of this one, it gets screwed down. And it's like that all the way down. Well, where these are at, we so where these ones are at, it's like that. But oh, the ones where we know, and we marked them by putting screws in both sides on the ones next to them. <laughs> I know it sounds rough, it's because none of them have screws in them other than just to hold them in place. So right here, you can see that we've got screws all the way down on this side and each purling. And also on that side. Well, this panel in the middle, the way we did it was we set it to where it's on top on this side and it's on top on this side. That way, all we're gonna do is just take the four screws out, one and basically there's a screw in each corner. We'll take them out, take this panel off, move it to the other side because it's gonna belong on that side because we're short on that side, I'm sure. And then uh, it'll be over there to fill what we're missing. It'll make sense. Look at those cat-like reflexes. Hmm? Huh? Water. <laughs> Alright, I gotta move the tractor to the other side because I'm not carrying these panels over there. There she is. Wife of the year. Wife of the year. Fearless. Up there swinging from the rafters. Jumping from purlin to purlin to put the metal on. I might be fibbing a little bit, but she did a good job. All right. So you can see the two skylights we have right here. There's clear plastic on there. It's uh, pro rib plastic. Anyways, so just like that, how it is, it basically there's that one and then eight sheets later, there's this one on sheet number nine and then it'll be the same way, eight more sheets. Sheet number nine will have that. We've got it set up up there to where we can pull the long uh, metal off and then we'll take all of those and we'll move them over here. So there's eight, which is roughly about 24 feet and we've got 10, let's see. Well, anyways, 10, 20, 30, 40. We have about 40 feet to go, 35 feet. Or it's probably about 38, I guess. So those will fill in some of it. And then we've got, I think, two more skylights that we could put in, but I don't know if we'll put them in there or what we're gonna do with them. And then whatever's left over, we'll use, uh, we've got half sheets of metal that we'll put together. So that should do the trick. And then, yeah. Right now it's gonna leak. Yeah, a lot of leaks. Christy put a few extra skylights over there. Yeah, I missed the board. You wanna show them your skylights? No, it's Let's okay. show them your skylights. Okay. You did too. I don't, I, remember correctly. I don't know what you're talking about. Right after me, you missed three times in a row. Where are your skylights? Oh, there's one. I don't know how you missed the board. I have no idea how I missed the board. They were all on the board, but they didn't There was like five holes. It looked like a shotgun blast. I don't know. Who knows? You'll figure it out later. But that's going to be it for today. Uh, tomorrow we should get more metal in so we can finish this up. That's actually what we're waiting on. And then we'll finish it in a couple of days. We've got other That's things. That's all open for the kids for a little while. Yeah, we're gonna put our so the down there we're gonna put the basketball hoop up because there won't be any crap or animals in here really during the summer. So we'll put some up down there. Go pick up your trash, you litter bug. Did you get yours? 
That one's yours. No, 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 no. That no, one's no. yours. I dropped mine over here. Okay, well, look at all them flat tires you dropped. You dropped a lot of them, too. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Every time she'd drop a screw, I'd say, oh, there goes another tire. It's, it's inevitable. You'll never find all of them. And when you do find it, it's gonna find, you're going to find it in your tire. It's the perfect job for a kid that's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, except for when they're in trouble, they don't want to do anything right. So <laughs> they're definitely going to look for a screw. Like a screw. All right, I'm going to go look, Mom. Well, then we make them go back and do it again. <laughs> Tell them they have to bring back 10 screws. You better lock up all the box of the other ones. Look, I, I found one. I know as a kid, I know what I'd do. Oh. <laughs> I'd go get a box of screws and just take 10 out of it and come back about 15, 20 minutes later and be like, look, Mom, I found them all. Our kids aren't like you as a kid, though. <laughs> they're, they're pretty good kids. I was a good kid. You're a mischievous. No, it's not. Not what I heard. Grandma never said that. Grandma said that you drug dirt. Put it on her nice well, carpet accident. and then drove your tractors through it trying to make cornfields. I did make cornfields. On her carpeted floor. The vacuum cleaner fixed it. And I remember an incident where I think your mom said you took apart the radio. I took, the radio, I took some stuff apart. Or the microwave. And then you put something back together and something was singing that shouldn't have been singing. <laughs> it didn't work like it used to, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, we got our new metal, or our additional metal that we needed from Menards. Right there, I gotta cut eight of the pieces because eight of those pieces will be matched up with a clear plastic panel to create these skylights that you see right here. And then the ones that we put in here for spacers right here, we'll take off and we'll move them down to where they need to be. Let's get started. Doing a pre-workout. Oh man, look at all them pull-ups. All right, hop down. <laughs> Giggle a little faster. She comes. That's it? That's it. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you did it. And lift up when your front feels almost Uh-oh. I thought you were grounded. It looks like you're walled. Get it? Grounded, you'd be on the ground. Anyways, that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed week. Stay safe. If you like our video, press the like button. And you can even share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Finally.
Adios. Adios.